We're gonna turn this $4 shirt into a $40 shirt real quick. You guys wanna see something crazy? Yeah. This ink is puffed. The yeah, sky's, the, sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so right now what we're doing is we're gonna be going over to GOF Foreground Co. He's one of our customers, he's been a customer for about like 10 years now is where I met him. So we're gonna be pulling some 920 basics to bring over to him so you guys can get a little bit behind the scenes on how to do your own screen printing if you wanna do like small runs or, you know. Okay, he's not answer. What a baby. Well, guess what? Since he didn't answer, I get to pick whatever I want. We'll give him. Again, I'm not a picker. <laughs> Our six ounce basics, you know. In the fashion district. <laughs> I love these tags. Eight. So, we brought you we got some Oh, I some see, peas. too. This is, this is peep game. For every time I talk about this is peep game. Oh, yeah, peep, peep game. Peep game. Oh, okay, <laughs> but yeah, so we got... Some basics. We got a, around two dozen shirts, and then I brought you our sweatsuits. The basic sweatsuits. Oh, nice. So they're like uh, the regular price point, all that stuff, but we have in stock now. The color's sick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, you don't have to print on these or nothing, but I wanted to give you a set for yourself so you could, you know... So today we're here with Gio of Foreground Co. He's one of Sky's customers for the last, what, you say five to 10 years? 10 years? Yeah, 10 Probably years. Long, yeah, a little bit longer maybe. And so he's been around since he had to buy all styles and all, and all the other blanks. And today we're gonna have him print on some of our basics. He's gonna run through how to set up your own film, how to do a multicolor print by hand, and pretty much just give you a rundown on screen printing and a little bit of insight into his brand and why he's been coming to us for like 10 years. Cause it's been consistent. He does printing for other people. He does a lot of live show printing. We're gonna show you how to do it if you if you wanna start on your own and get a setup like this, whatever. We'll sky's the you. limit, yeah, sky's, sky's the, the limit. limit. Sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I guess we start with the, the film burn. First things first, we pull up our artwork. We grab our layers, all of them, and we make a middle mark. So if you see right here on top, there's a little box, right? So what I do is I create a little line right there, telling me that's the middle. After that, I get registration marks, which I come right here, custom shape, and these are like little registration marks. You put one on top, one in the bottom. Okay, boom. Make sure it's nice in the middle. And I do two more. I do one on the side real quick to make it easier to register. Just a random spot? I, well, for this particular image, yes, because it's so big, I made it huge. So it doesn't necessarily need to be in the middle for that, just as long as it's centered. Yes. Okay. This center one, it's important. That way you know it's the center of the design, it's the center of the shirt. These side ones, you can put them wherever, they're just to help you register. Register means each layer of color, right? Yes. Yeah. So that everything lines up right. Yes. Okay. So for screen printing, you're gonna need a base, okay? So the base is gonna be the whole thing white. After the white is set, then you're gonna start placing the colors, the green, the brown, the, the yellow, the gray, to make it pop. If you don't add the base there, it's gonna look very like vintage faded. It's not gonna give it that opaque look that you Which want. Which some people are looking for right yes. now though. Yes, yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. But we're going for the bright. Yes, we're okay, going for the we're going bright. Puff. Yes, we're going puff on the black and everything else flat. Each screen is one color. So if there's a red, a blue, a black, each screen is a color. For this design, we're using five different colors with black meaning six. So we're gonna start printing each film by itself. So the yellow is one film. I print it on black. I do a color overlay. I turn off every other layer real quick. Okay, I'm left with just the yellow. After that, I give it a color overlay, making it black, and I print it out. And this is what appears. So I do that with each color. So when I started, I just started with that printer. That printer, you're able to print 13 by 19, which is a big enough size, but I just wanted to go over 
you know, super big. So it's way bigger than the sheet. Let's go burn the screen. why <laughs> so when you're doing this process it has to be in the people say dark room and it doesn't mean like technically dark it just has to be not sunlight direct sunlight especially sun rays our screen has been in motion already and now we're just lining it up i lined my up at three inches put tape on it all sides so it holds down this is called an exposure unit unit place it down Turn it on. I have it on automatic. I press a button. What it does is sucks it up and then turns on with the light. You'll see the light right here a little bit. After this, you take the film out. Just leave the film here. We'll come over here. We're done. That's how you burn the screen. So you see how it's kind of lighter on this side? That's where the emulsion didn't go. So that means that ink can go through. So he's got to put the tape over that spot. Yeah. This is a tack to hold the paper down. So when you print on it, it doesn't pick up because like, let's say you print on this, it'll, it'll move, you know? So we use tack to hold it down. And after that, it does not move. So right now we're just laying the, the base down. Is that how everyone does it? They pull towards you, not push away? Everyone does it different, you know? No, everyone has their own version, you know? But So I heat it up with this. With this. <laughs> The heat gun. <laughs> with this, this fool. <laughs> and the reason why I use a heat gun and not this is because this will shrink the paper. This won't shrink the paper. Would you recommend anyone else that wants to try to start screen painting just get a little, that's a four color, right? Yeah. Even a two color, do you recommend that? I recommend people to like start with no press and just you could do it like how, how Golden H does it just say tabletop you know if you really try to then at least you can figure out if you like it or not exactly you know then exactly. if you start clamping you know i still i do screen printing but i don't have any of this stuff you know like i, I do this still the golden age yeah sometimes. there's no bad way of doing this there's no bad way it's just my way is just more for production purposes all right so yeah so at a, in a setting like a live printing he said that you don't do six color prints no no i uh i do four co not four colors four designs with four different artists and just uh two different types of color shirts black ink and then you just print them as people buy them yes that's pretty cool yeah. so if anybody wanted to do live printing for their event they could just contact you yeah yeah and we got them so i take a smaller press it's not here it's in my other shop you'll see it but it's kind of like that one if you want to take a picture real quick yeah that's the that's the first one i started with yeah, that's the first one I started with, $200. Right now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix that perp, the black puff real quick. Let's do 15, 20%, let's do 20%. We're gonna do 100 grams and 20 grams of puff. Does that mean, does depending on the additive, like how much you put in is more puffy? Yes. So how do you get the most puff? Is that 20% or is that you half and half? No, you could, you could do like 50, you could do, it's just up so to you. So why wouldn't you do 50 right now? It gets too, too fuzzy. It doesn't become a smooth. Oh, okay. Yeah, it becomes like, kind of like your fleece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get I me? I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes. Can we turn on this? Zero. We're gonna fill it up to 100. Oh shit, that is 100. No, we're gonna do 200. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Go a little over 100, we're doing 200. So we're at 201. So we're at 21 grams of puff. So puff is like when the ink rises, like, you know, it gives it like a bubble, bubble texture. Kind of act like a yeast in bread. Yes. It's like he bread. Said, it's he like said bread, the bread. Right? Yeah. It's like bread. He has, to, he has to wait for the oven. He knows okay, it's bread. Okay, okay, okay. Can't mix it too fast because then it gets like the powder comes out, you know, like, you see? So just little by little you mix it. And then once it's really good, then here. And then we're going to just run the test print right now. You guys want to see something crazy? Yeah. This ink is puffed. Fuck it. Will that affect the print? Yeah. Nah. Oh, okay, nah. cool. Yeah. Okay, then. It's okay to make mistakes. There is no mistake, but I didn't know that the that green had puffed. I just wanted the black to be raised, but now it's gonna be the black and the grass. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think that'd be it. Um, the ink didn't shoot out all the way, man. Look, look over here. If you see those little spots, that's where the ink got clogged. So right now I'm gonna unclog it by reheating it. And if it doesn't unclog, then I have to fucking clean it. Almost, you see it? That's what we don't want. No. There you go, check it out. And it's still a little up, but right now once we print it, it'll, it'll go away. It'll go away. Let me tape it up and let's print it. And I do workshops too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you I teach do. workshops? Yeah, I teach different students, different age Where do you groups. teach workshops at? Um, right now I'm partnered up with a nonprofit called Healing Urban Barrios. They're located, they have three locations, Rampart, MacArthur, and Lincoln Heights. So and is that free or? Yeah. It's yeah. free classes yeah. and yeah. people could ha tell them how to sign up? Oh, uh, well, you would have to go to uh, Healing Urban Barrios. Instagram and they post up their workshops. They have different workshops. It's not just screen printing. They have like how to do a resume, you know, how to oh, okay. interview, just life skills, you Very know. Cool. I try to do like once a month, Sick. maybe twice a month. Just depends, you know. Maybe maybe you should start posting it before you go do it. People show up. Yeah, no, I, I should. Everybody uh, in the comments, if we do run this, um, tell this motherfucker to post. He doesn't post. <laughs> You'll never know what he's doing because he's, he's just always working and he never posts. So we need to get him to post more. That was one thing we learned from Romello at Golden Age Thrift is uh, post your work. We're going to turn this $4 shirt into a $40 shirt real quick. And like I said, if you guys are doing uh, any branding, this is a must. You place your tag, you go down. And we do this with uh, pretty much all our, our big brands, our big clients, you know. That's how it's done, guys. Don't forget. Four to 40. Four to 40. So pretty much we offer screen printing, hand screen printing, uh, embroidery, uh, laser cutting, pretty much any task or project that no shop would take, we take those jobs. We also do live screen printing and live hat pressing. If you ever need us, give us a call. My name is Giovanni. I'm co-owner of Foreground Co. Um, along with uh, Brian Argueta. Go check out our website at foregroundco.com. And don't forget to go to Sky Sportswear for your apparel.